So here we will show you how to clean a chimney in your kitchen. So usually we put lots of effort to clean this and still the residual remains intact. So usually we should clean our chimney probably once in a month. So it will be great. Otherwise it will be difficult to clean this. So you can see how we need to do that. So there are two screws here you can see. We just need to remove these screws, lose it. Before it you can remove the spray. So basically you just need to pull it out. You will see it is clean here. Because uh, this tray we are usually cleaning once in a week. So whatever the grease comes here we wipe it out. So you can see we just need to reverse those two screws and it will come down. You just need to take this out. So from upper side you will see it will be looking like a little clean. But from the front side it will be much dirty. So we need to just place it into the water for some time and then let's you just need to sprinkle the water let it be wet for 5 minutes and leave it intact then I will let you know a magic which will clean it very well you don't have to use soda you don't have to use vinegar you don't have to use surf or anything other materials ok it is very easy to clean this you find it difficult but no it is very easy you just need a old brush so what we need we need this kiwi drenix usually you have used in cleaning your sinks but it is really useful to clean the chimney as well so just try it once and i will show you how it works you just need one brush one scrubber and this drenix that's it so see basically i have just cut this drenix i will sprinkle it over the chimney you will not see any much bubbles or gases usually you see into your sink here you won't see it but keep it as is for next 15 minutes and then you just need to wipe out with a scrubber and brush after 15 minutes of soaking this see the grease and it really works very well and it is easily available in the market so like from the upper side I have just sprinkled from the inside you see there is a one downside so there I will just place um, I will just sprinkle it inside as well and that's it and you just need to keep yourself away or use a mask cause it you can use hand gloves as well if you are allergic to these acids and you don't have to touch it usually we are using the drenix in our day to day life to clean our drain systems now you may be hearing a sound which is basically the fumes my whole drenix packet is over so we just need one packet of drenix that's it keep it intact for some time stay away leave it for 15 minutes and then we will clean it so you can see like i place some of the domex here as well so that uh, my screws are also getting clean so now after 15 to 20 minutes i will take this out we just need to wipe it out with the use of a brush that's it you can see lots of bad grease will be going out automatically so it's just matter now to clean this mess grease will be cleared very easily like if you will use the surf or any other things like you may have seen some concepts of using the vinegar or soda that is not going to work that fast you see I'm just wiping it out I'm just wiping it out with the help of brush see you can see how easily it is going to otherwise people use scrubber metal scrubber so using the metal scrubber makes your this duct rusted as well so you are basically just making scratches so by using this no scratches will be happening as well you can see 
we just need to wipe it out so yeah i shown you how to wipe it out so i will take a scrubber simply in uh, bath uh, utensil scrubber so i will do it much faster than anything else i just need to wipe it out like this it will be pretty fast so you can see i have wiped it out almost on the upper layer so for the inner layer you can use this brush it is good so you just need to push the brush and you can see you will be seeing lots of grease will be coming out so the brush is a uh, little alternative thick so i will be using a small spoon which have some small tiny edge so i just need to push like this i will be using you can see so the thing is already in place i just need to take it out so likewise you can see see simply so i will be using straight out i don't have to do lots of efforts if you you use uh, any other materials it is going to take a lots of time lots of time i would say by this it is very quick and very much clean than anything else some of the part coming out but i will wash them thoroughly so that is also fine no need to struggle a lot you just need to clean it out like this see i have wiped it out everything upper part as well as the lower part with the help of one spoon i'm just rubbing this screws so they are also neat and clean now so now i just need to take this tray you just need to smoothly run through a toothbrush that's it you may be seeing my tray was already clean because we usually clean in 2 to 3 days so that lots of grease are not getting stored so now you can see how much grease i have extracted there is much more inside this uh, our chimney tray so i'm just cleaning this all out keeping it aside and now i will wash the tray you can see how much it is lots of more but yeah so now i'm um, you can see there are the some holes inside this you can see how automatically lots of grease water will be going out you can see right you see you don't have to do anything you just need to wash it now see you just need to rub You can see how much grease particles. We are having some grease to the inner part, which is very hard to clean. But you can see there are holes. So change the direction. You just need to clean with the water thoroughly. so you can see now it is much shining and clean very neat and clean and you can see these as well the screws which we clean and the tray so everything is clean we just need to place everything back you just need to rinse and clean your hands very clearly and then have some coconut oil just wash your hands with some uh, i would say with some so to this outer side you just need to use any liquid you just need to wipe it out with the use of a scrubber just clean it thoroughly and then wipe with a clean cloth you just go to the this back side as well usually if you will clean this back side 
it will be very clean and you will be having less chances of cockroaches to be appearing in your kitchen that's it rub to the upper side as well so that your glass is shining I'm just placing this back so there are two joints you just need to match those place it right this, like this and you need to tie the screw at the place where the screw holes are given just set one the other one you just need to tighten it tray you just need to add so friends okay. use this method and Give me comments how your chimney was and like this video and subscribe our channel. Thank you.